So in this Windows 10 how-to, we'll look at making a local account that you set up on your Windows 10 machine. A Microsoft account. So here, this is just a, when I installed Windows 10, I just created a local account. I did not sign in with a Microsoft account, which, you know, you can do, that's fine. But adding it as a Microsoft account does open up a lot of what extra Windows 10 can do and what it all can integrate in with. So to do that, we'll just click on the account name that I originally created. And in the menu, we'll just click change account settings. And then here, there's sign in with a Microsoft account instead. So just click on that, which will pop up a login box. Just type in the Microsoft account. And the password. Helps if you type in the correct password. Okay, and once done that, let's click on sign in. And because I had a password on my local account, it's just asking us to type that in just so it knows that this actually is me. Okay, and Windows 10 is trying to do away with using passwords to log on to computers, so it is asking you at account creation slash making your account a Microsoft account, it is asking you to set up a PIN um, rather than having to type in your long password. The whole idea behind that is you should have a really good strong password for your Microsoft account, but of course you don't want to type in a 15 to 20, 25 character password just to log on to your computer. Um, so instead you can have a really good um, account password, but then have a still a strong pin number set up on the computer um, that doesn't sync to anything else. Um, so just set up a pin number. And what do you know? Their service ain't working with that right now, so we'll just skip it. Okay, so I uh, just need to verify the account as well. And this will most likely ask to send a number to my cell phone. Okay, so in a moment I'll receive a, a text message. Hopefully in a moment I receive a text message. What I would recommend, and we can cover this in a future video, is instead of having it send you text messages, you can use the Microsoft Authenticator app um, to, to generate your code so you don't have to wait for them to arrive often. Most of the time the texts do arrive really quickly, but from time to time they may take an hour to arrive where they just may not arrive. Um, so when you get it through text message, it arrives. Okay, so I've got that code. These are one time only codes. So as soon as I click next, this code will no longer work for my account. So you can't use it, sorry. And there you have it. That is now converted my local account and made this a Microsoft account on here. So if I signed in with other on other machines before, 